this week we're finally diving into one of my all-time favorite cocktails. One of my this favorite house recipe. All-time all right. favorite. It's one of my favorite all cocktail all right, recipes. All right. Okay, I do say that a lot, but it is true. This cocktail is one of those ultra classics that not only has a memorable taste, but a fame that has inspired a tremendous amount of modern day spin-offs, and is even the name of an extremely popular modern tiki bar in the heart of Chicago, Three Dots and a Dash. Now, the original cocktail was a Don the Beachcomber invention, with the cocktail name being World War II inspired, as Three Dots and a Dash is the Morse code signal for victory. But as mentioned, it's evolved many times through the years, and Paul McGee, the owner of Three Dots and a Dash in Chicago, puts his own spin on the classic as the house namesake cocktail. Now, the original Three Dots recipe calls for orange juice, but many modern mixologists, myself included, often find that orange juice tends to dampen the intensity of an otherwise strong cocktail. So what McGee did was swap that orange juice for orange curacao instead, bringing the final ingredient lineup to be lime, honey mix, bitters, falernum, orange curacao, pimento dram, and demerara and martinique rum. The result should be a powerful dry cocktail with a sweet spice nose that is appropriate for the fall season. All right, let's jump in. Let's do the lime. The honey mix, this is a two to one honey to water ratio in this case. The orange curacao. Now, normally I would recommend Pierre Ferrand, but in this case we had potters sitting around, so we're using that. Forgive me. The falernum, using John D. Taylor's in this case. Pimento dram, this is where the spiciness comes from. An ounce of Martinique rum, using a nice clement in this case. Some Guyanan or Demerara rum, using El Dorado in this case. And finally, three dashes of Angostura bitters. It's got three dots and three dashes. All right, we're gonna add a couple of ice cubes to shake up the drink and chill it. Also, the sound's cool. This drink is served in a Collins glass with crushed ice. Let's toss some in. Let's strain that guy in. Looking good. Let's take a straw in. Although one of the most important things about the three dots and a dash is the garnish. What you're gonna wanna do is spear three Luxardo cherries onto a bamboo spear like this, or stick a pineapple stick at the very end. And that represents the three dots and the dash. There you go. Three dots and dash Chicago version of their house drink. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. That actually is very different from the Don the Beachcomber version. With the rebalance of everything, it's actually got a sweeter flavor than expected, even without the orange juice in there, which really sets it apart as a unique cocktail from the original recipe. A modern twist on an old classic, the Three Dots and a Dash Chicago version is definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a sweeter version of an old favorite. All in all, I might actually recommend taking down the orange curacao a bit or even upping the allspice dram amount just to add a little bit more spiciness to this recipe. That's our show, thanks for watching. If you like this, please consider giving us a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on future cocktail recipes and tiki adventures. Till then, cheers. probably do with just the dram and not the drink guy. John D. Taylor, it's the best. Oh, dead soldier, Ray, huh? Hey, dead soldier, huh, Ray? Seriously, you should check out Three Dots and a Dash in Chicago. They got that blue wall of skulls. It's super cool. Remember that time that you and I went to uh, Three Dots? Uh, it's crazy.